Travel experts say that it will be a Memorial Day weekend like no other. Vaccinations are up and infection rates are down. WBZ's Christina Rex reports on just how much company you'll have this weekend at the airport and on the roads. More than half of Americans are vaccinated now, and many are feeling safer traveling this holiday weekend. The trade off, though, no matter where you're going or how you're getting there, you're bound to hit some traffic. It'll be the busiest travel weekend in more than a year. Hi, sir. Where are you going to today? AAA forecasts 37 million travelers nationwide this weekend, a 60% increase from last year. And most, they say, will travel by car. Is that it's simply much easier to control your environment when you're in your own vehicle. So uh, people can minimize their points of contact along the way by driving. They can make few stops or no stops. Experts recommend gassing up close to home. Since gas prices are at a seven year high, and you want to avoid busy tourist stops. And if you can, leave early, like Derek Polonsky, who's headed to the Cape. Memorial Day is always hell on wheels, so that's why we're leaving on Thursday night. Leaving early applies at the airport, too, since check-in and security lines are back. For a long time during the pandemic, there was nobody at the airport. You could just go in, get through security pretty quickly, and then go about your way. But now crowds are starting to come back, so you got to get to the airport a little bit sooner. Still, travelers say waiting in line is a price they're willing to pay for life to get back to normal. It's exciting, you know. I'm happy. I'm glad that this pandemic is starting to wane, you know. So I'm all for it. And a reminder for anyone who is traveling this weekend, even as states lift their mask mandates, you do still have to wear a mask both in the airport and on an airplane, as well as on public transportation here in Massachusetts. At Logan Airport, Christina Rex, WBZ News. Christina.